how to peer review using the workshop tool in Moodle. Here, I'll talk you through, from a student viewpoint, how you'll be using the peer review feature. Let's go ahead and do that now. So, <clears throat> the, peer, the peer review thing is just here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And when I do, first of all, I am greeted with um, the different time phases here. And it tells you about when um, the, the present phase and the different deadlines. And for the deadline in this particular case, the uh, when all the reviews have to be done are by that date and um, by at what time you can uh, upload your own document. <clears throat> Here's some information for you about what you're supposed to do. And in this case, in this particular example, you're going to be uh, feedbacking, assessing your own writing, and then once another student has uploaded his or her task, you'll be providing feedback for them. And you have to justify your assessment, and you're to be constructive and offer concrete suggestions. And these are the different steps here that you have. You write your story title, you upload your story, you do an own self-assessment, and so on. And I'm going to actually talk you through this whole process. Importantly, you can look at this thing here, the formulaire. Uh, for, for, and this is what, that, what you'll be using to give feedback on. For example, about capitalization and punctu punctuation and sequencing. So you're going to have to look at the your student your your own and then again your students uh, colleagues uh, document, and you're going to be providing some kind of criterion uh, grading for these different aspects that are raised here. So, <clears throat> what's the actual process in itself? Uh, first of all, you're to write your title here, and in this case, my story is called the. Frog Prince continued, and there's you don't really need to write anything in this space, which is here. However, you're going to then choose a file. I'll go and click on that. It'll take me into my computer, and I'm going to find my story, the Frog Prince continued there, and choose it. And then I'm going to click here on Shikadina Pief, send in a task. And it says that my uh, upload was successful. I then go ahead and click on this next button. And then I'm greeted with this. And first of all, it says, please grade your own task. And this gives me information here about when I'd uploaded everything. So <clears throat> this is the story itself, and this is the grading. Now I've got two choices here. First of all, I can click on this, and then I can go ahead and if I wish to download this onto my computer. All right. Then um, when I click on the next button, I can. It says "Badum Vadera Batik Sat," and this is the where the actual peer review takes place, just here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and then you see I have a divided window. Now what this is allows, you, allows you to do is, if you click here, then it will allow you to see the document at the same time. So if I click on that, then the document will open, and uh, it opens in, the, in, a, in a window at the bottom here. So, but if you have it printed out, then you don't need to have it in another window. And if that's the case, um, you can then go ahead and you know, bring this further down and give you a bit more space. And you now have to give some kind of feedback here. So for example, I think in this case, of these four choices, um, in this particular case, in my, uh, I'm, I'm now assessing my own, of course, and what do I think? Well, I think there are no errors or one or two. If there were one or two, why did I actually upload this? So I'm hoping and presuming that you'll be writing uh, that there were no errors, and you might say that, you know, make a comment here that you did spell check and you checked everything through and somebody else checked it for you or something like that. And then you go through all the other tasks. For example, well, did you use sources from the book? Did you cite the pages? And in that case, uh, did you write them in? Um, grammar errors, paragraphs, sentence, and then the following instructions. 
did you follow the instructions as you thought and then your general comments all right there are your general comments about your own task here and once you've done that importantly click on spara mina bedania all right so i'm going to just go ahead and click some things here just for the sake of it and um, Go ahead and write some, th some things in here so you get the idea of it. Did I want it to be? Yes, just something here. And then I'm going to uh, write some general comments. This was rather well done, for example. And I'm going to save all my comments. And then <coughs> I get the following window here. <coughs> now it'll, it, there's a bit of a small time lag, um, so it uh, it won't appear straight away what you've done. It takes a little while before it happens, and you then go on to um, in time. You need to look here again, and uh, the learning platform will allocate a task to you. And when you see something which is here. Um, Bedömmer, betygsätter, någonting av en kursdeltagare. Then you will do the same process, except you will do it with a student's task. Okay, now I know this maybe looks on the surface a little bit kind of weird, but it should be okay. Now once you've received your feedback here, you will be able to see it in this window, um, what the feedback was. And when you receive your feedback, you then go to your original document and then you might make some changes based on the feedback that you get. And once that is done, then you have your, as it were, the final upload to me in, a, in, a, in another tab, which I'll make clear onto Moodle for you. And that's the, the actual task which I, as your tutor, will be grading. Okay, good luck.